let's try to understand this disease. So you can see here, this is the, using the uh, USA classification, uh, tooth number 18 and number 17 were extracted in July 20, uh, 2006. And in September, a couple of months later, an implant was placed. Now, we can criticize the implant placement. We can criticize the implant body that they chose. Uh, pretty much, it wasn't the most, you know, best case that we could have had these implants in. Nonetheless, from October 2009, this implant received a poor fitting crown as well, but there's no bone loss. There's no signs of separation. There's no signs of bleeding on probing. And we see it in February 2013, this implant is pretty much functioning 100%. So, how can we explain after eight years and a matter of just 11 months, we start seeing a complete breakdown of the bone? Patient's health didn't change. Nothing has changed. The embrasure spaces were always the same. That contact has always been open. So why did peri-implantitis affect this implant eight years later? 